Hey everyone, video 44 here coming at you with another video. All right, so I've got a trade to share with you guys. The Utah Jazz and Golden State Warriors came to an agreement. Eric Pichel is going to be headed to Utah and a protected future second round pick is going to be go going to Golden State. Uh, at this point, uh, I don't know a whole lot about what Golden State's intentions are in creating a roster spot. Uh, but it could be for Kelly Oubre Jr. I'd imagine he's still out there. I don't know how much they can play him, but that's somebody that's interesting uh, there. Um, guy like uh, Paul Millsap might be uh, considering Golden State. So there's a lot of different things they can do. Brad Wanamaker is, is a free agent of theirs that they may want to bring back. So uh, Golden State's just trying to boost their bench. Uh, that's what it really comes down to, I'd imagine, or uh, in Oubre's case, uh, booster their starting lineup. Um, or maybe bench. I don't know. It depends on how they want to use him. But he would be a talented player that can come in and, uh, you know, play that power forward, backup power forward position that Pichelle's going to be leaving vacant. But but they did draft uh, Kaminga. So that might be his spot nevertheless. Uh, I do think they'll probably want to boost that power forward position a little more, given the fact that uh, their last first round pick uh, went down with injury halfway, with an injury halfway through the season. Maybe they would want to kind of protect Again, something like that happening again. Who knows? Maybe not. Uh, but uh, this is the situation here. So Pichel is a power forward going to Utah, and I really like what Utah's doing. Um, first of all, this is good for the chemistry of the locker room, just in general, because Pichel and Mitchell are good friends. So that gives them an opportunity to reunite and, uh, you know, battle for a championship together. Uh, it's a situation there where I think he'll have a pretty solid role. He's a power forward where I've been talking about him for over two years, really. Uh, this is somebody that I, as always, find on my waiver wire <laughs> quest, trying to find players that can help my uh, fantasy basketball team from season to season. And Pichelle had an opportunity when guys were not out there uh, to really, uh, you know, make a name for himself about two years ago. So uh, given the fact that everybody uh, started coming back, they started doing a little different things with their roster last year, he didn't quite have the same role that he had in the previous year. So I think this is a situation where Utah remembers that. Obviously, they, they've done their homework on the player. And, of course, Donovan Mitchell will keep him uh, in the forefront of his mind in regards to his suggestions of trying to make sure his team uh, continues to have players that he, he wants on his team as well. So I'm pretty sure they listened to Donovan in this, in this case and they went and got his buddy. And I think it's the right decision because that is a very, very talented power forward. He could probably give you about 20 and 8 um, when given good minutes. So I, li I like the guy. I think he's going to help. Utah quite a bit to go along with the other acquisitions that they made <clears throat> uh, so yeah that Utah did good man Whiteside uh, Rudy Gay and Eric Pichel yeah you, you feel pretty good if you're Utah they had a nice uh, free agency period here um, uh, they got the guy back of course Mike Conley as well so they got a full spectrum of players that's a deep team that's a contending team uh, that's a team that fits with one another, has a system that they like, and they're well coached. They know that system. They've been together for a while. Uh, the players that they're incorporating now are players that should be able to understand uh, how quickly and how importantly they need to get things on board. Uh, because obviously Rudy Gay is a guy who's who's been in this league for a long time is looking to win a championship. Uh, Mike Conley, the same thing. They've played together in Memphis for many years before Rudy was traded. So again, it's another reunion situation, good for chemistry, things like that, familiarity. So I like what Utah is doing. They're, they're, they're thinking and they're putting their team together as if they're going after it, in my opinion. And the white side move I thought was massive because that gave them an opportunity to bring in a guy who could do things that you, Rudy Gobert could do and not put so much emphasis on Rudy Gobert to be out there to do it. Um, you know, he, he's he's one of the most important players, uh, obviously, for them. And getting a guy like Whiteside sees to it that he can you can still have that rim protection and that um, massive, massive size, even when Rudy sits down and it's really a talented guy. And, you know, they let Derek Favors walk. Um, so this obviously makes a whole lot of sense. Uh, so, yeah, man, they did a lot of good things, man. They're going to be shooting threes. That's just what it is guy like Rudy Gay is going to very much enjoy uh, what's happening there um, in regards to that. You know, that's that's going to be something he steps right in and, and, and appreciates. Eric can shoot a little bit too. 
and he's going to be asked to, I'd imagine, in this system. So that's going to be interesting to see how that goes for him. And, uh, yeah, man, that's pretty much what I wanted to share with you guys, to let you know about a trade uh, there. I don't think there's anything else I need to be talking about. I'm not certain, but if there is, I'll turn the camera right back on and give it to you. My name is PDL44. Thank you all for watching. Bye.